Hello, my name is Rachel Mealy, and I'm an emailaholic. I've been email sober for four hours, <laughs> and 32 minutes, and 15 seconds. Oh, I'm sorry, this is, a, this is an important one. I, I need to check this. Can you guys give me just a second? It'll, do, it'll just take a second. Oh, it's from my sister-in-law. Dear friend, I'm sorry I didn't inform you about my travel to England for a business trip. That's weird, I just talked to her yesterday. I have to get back without delay. I need a favor. Okay. I was robbed of my wallet, phone, flight ticket, and other valuables. Oh man, this is bad. I would like you to lend me the sum of 3,500 US dollars. <laughs> Or any amount you can afford is half bread is better than none. <laughs> this is really bad. Oh my goodness. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and guests, I am an email addict. Luckily, I'm so obsessed with email that I know that the email that I just got from my sister, and the many that I get every day similar to it, where it says, I'm in England, I'm stuck, and I need you to send me large sums of money, is, in fact, a hoax. Why is it that when we hear that beep on our phone, the beep, that beep on our phone, or we see the envelope pop up in our computer, we have to rush to it. We have to check to see what is it all about. More often than not, it's a JPEG of a cat <laughs> um, that one of our friends sent us. I really am addicted to email. The first thing that most people do when they wake up in the morning is they go to the... What do they do? They go to the... The bathroom, yeah. Most people go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> Not me. First thing I do when I wake up in the morning, reach across to my nightstand, grab my trusty iPhone, and I start to check my email. And I'm not like the average professional who gets approximately 100 emails a day. No, I, I get 200 plus emails every single day. And I find the more emails I send, the more emails I get back. Like, my, my favorite, and I'm much appreciative for the, um, I, I much appreciate these emails. My favorite is the email that comes across and it says, Dear Rachel, thank you. And I say, and an email back as I respond, well, you're welcome. And then I get another email back a few minutes later that says, no, really, I, I very much appreciated your work. Thank you. And I respond with, you're welcome. And we go back and forth. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. And oh, my gosh, what a waste of valuable time. So I realized I've got a problem. I need to get help. But I wasn't sure where to find help. So I did what any good email addict would do. I went on Google and I searched email addiction. I was surprised. There was 60,600,000 results for email addiction. Certainly somebody's got to give me some support on how I can fix this problem. So I was feeling lucky. I was feeling lucky on Google. And I, I, I wanted to click on the first link, which said the Online and Internet Addiction Association. There's actually an association out there for online and internet addiction? Oh, hallelujah! I clicked on the link. Page cannot be displayed. <laughs> oh my gosh, I must have done something wrong. I hit the back button. Let me try this again. Page cannot be displayed. I've got to be doing something wrong. I hit the back button again. I think. I know what I'm going to do. Uh, there's got to be some other link I can click on. And underneath the main link, it said 
self-assessment. That's it. I need to take a self-assessment. I need to know how bad is my internet addiction. So I click the link. Page cannot <laughs> be displayed. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do? This is horrible. I, I went on to the second result. The second result said time management, productivity, and efficiency. So I need a time management tool so I continue to read. It was a software service that will actually track how much time I spend on email to help me be more effective. So I downloaded it. I quickly found out I spend on average 10 hours a week on email. Maybe you were probably thinking, hey, that's not so bad. I spend 10 hours a week on email. I only work 30 hours a week. That's 30 3% of my time, that's a lot of time. BBC says that one third of you check your email every 15 minutes. Okay, admit it. Who's checking their email right now? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Honestly, I know that I have a problem, but I believe that email is important. It helps us to communicate better because the company I work for is 3,000 miles away in Seattle. And that's three hour time difference. That means that I've gotta be available at the same exact time that they're available if I pick up the phone and call them, and that's unlikely to happen. So I result to email. I think it's a great form of communication, but I know I need to get help. I definitely need to get help. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to check this. You guys don't mind, do you? Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs> <laughs>